So, if you couldn't tell, Minecraft with you. Oh yeah, I actually haven't played this in a while. Oh flip, I gotta figure out what I was doing. Sorry for the shaky hand. Okay, so first this is in my house, but I'll get to that later. I actually have, if you're gonna tell I'm... Oops. Yeah, I haven't played this in a while. So this is my transport to my neighborhood, it's like I like to call it. Okay, so that's... Can you tell I haven't played in Minecraft in forever? Okay, so this is what I call my neighborhood. I have created all but two here. This, well, two and a partial, I should say. These two were made by my sisters. This one I used right here from the Minecraft handbook for building. I have a little ringtone for it, if I can... So I have no idea if you just heard that, but, um, so I pretty much made the layout of the house and then my sister decorated it. So let's see, I get awfully confused with this majority of the time. So a little balcony usually, yeah. So, oh my gosh, I get so confused in these houses, I don't know why. So now, over here is something I decided just to make a very colorful house. Oh, and I don't know if you can hear, but this is the ringtone for it. Um, I decided just to make this really colorful, like a little party house and a little button that lags up the entire game. And changes the colors. This design was created, well, I was inspired by... Sophie Longhead's um, video. This, if I remember correctly, ah yes, I think I'm like missing it just barely. So. Pretty much what's supposed to be right there is a little secret armor stand. But I don't know if it was working or not. So I'm just going to head back down here. Oh, and I'm going to quickly change the colors back to normal. I don't know why I just did that, but okay. So now, probably one of my most overly complicated houses is this one. First of all, this is the ringtone. And then something I was sort of proud of is the functioning door. Which I have overcomplicated so much. And if you're wondering why I call it the, over the functioning door, it's because no matter which end it, you are from, it will work just like a door. So I could end up leaving this house, go out there, pull that lever again, and it will close. Then this one I found from FedEx Gaming. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just me deciding to do a house that looks like a bookcase and a working door. And then like a while later I found a just so much simpler version to make a functioning door. And it was so overcomplicated when I did it. Okay. 
and then now back to my main town where I do my mini games and my house is at if I can get to the store. That's pretty much it. Okay, so now part uh, probably should just show my house. Okay, so there that's actually a lighthouse. I decided to have like a circular function for the lighting, but it lags up my world so much that I pretty much just leave it like the way it is. Okay, so now this is my house. This one I have a, such a long ringtone for it because or oh, doorbell. I don't know why I keep calling it a ringtone. Because um my house is pretty big. Well, I guess I'll start it oh and functioning door. But it's a Jeb door. And this is when I realized I did, was overcomplicating it. I don't have a bucket on me. Okay, so one of my semi proudest not really proudest redstone I've gotten better is if I can remember where it's at. Once again, I apologize. I haven't played Minecraft in like forever. I also don't. This one? Ah, uh, yes. This is what I call my treasure room with the map. It really is. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So now this is my bedroom. And. I decided to put my first ever redstone thing in here. I was super proud when I first ever did it. It's, I call it the vibrating chair. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I'll explain what this is later. Um, yeah, balcony, bed. Now, for what I have in pretty much almost every house I make in creative, is an inventing room. This is pretty much where I mess around with certain things. This is my exit. Um, this is me. I messed up. Uh, something that where the block changes out every time. Then this is when I was experimenting with getting double pistons, extenders. Um, this is where I was seeing if uh, FedEx Gaming's design would work. And because I play Wii U, so it's a little different. And I saw something online where um, you can slide around in ice boats super fast. And I wanted to make sure that worked also. Oh, yeah, and I was fun messing around with mess uh, codes. Let's see if I still remember it. Yes. Apparently not. Um, ah, yeah, so I, was, I made it so then you have to have only certain ones pulled, otherwise it won't work. So if I pulled this one and this one, it wouldn't, but the moment I put this back to normal, it opens and yeah, very complicated. Then I was also, once again, double piston extenders. This was once again, I think, wait, I actually don't remember who it's from. Then I also was experimenting with... T flip flops. And then I was seeing if the Minecraft handbook's 3x3 three, three three piston door worked. And as you could tell, it worked. And then this, I was seeing whether this was faster or was this from the Redstone handbook on uh, Minecraft worked faster. And the Minecraft Red Book, um, Redstone Handbook works faster. But of course, that one is just made way easier. Oh, and this is where I stick my digging shovels. Because sometimes when I um, dig out big areas, I need to head into survival just to um, make sure that, or to dig out big areas fast. So I also, at one point, decided to see if I can make a 3x3 piston door all by myself, or with off of the knowledge of redstone that I know of. Which, yeah. And then I have, you know, same thing again where I make a functioning door. 
that's pretty much it with this right here. Now for actual games. So this is one from Stompy Longhead's video. I honestly don't remember exactly how to play. But I remember I wanted to play it. Um, this is a roller coaster my brother made. That's about it. Once again, pretty much most of these are just about it. Once again, another Stompy inspired video uh, thing where Water Rush. Uh, if you haven't seen Stompy, then honestly, I don't know why you have. I don't know. I don't even know where I was going with that sentence. Oh boy, I just realized this. Okay, so this is what, you remember those chests in my room? This was my working vending machine. So as you can tell, if I pressed Apple, I would not be able to get it. But if I go and put something like minecart in it, the Apple will come out. But usually you're supposed to Pay the price, then select your item. Oh, and you might be able to see as it goes up. Here, I'm going to fall it. So it goes up, goes down, and then it goes into my room right there with the storage chest. And now I have a potato, or pork chop. I don't know why I thought I selected a potato. Um, so here I like to make songs or recreate songs. May once again... This was found by, or I get most of these songs by FedEx Gaming. Or not FedEx, yeah, it was FedEx, never mind. Uh, once again, Elevator by him. So, I won't be able to show most of these just because it, yeah, this, it, it'll be a very long video. This is the fun song by Spongebob, and this should be Five Nights at Freddy's by the Living Tombstone. Yeah, and we got the Twilight Zone. Oh, and I added little things to make it go on for a while. And then um, this one is Pink Fluffy Unicorns. Um, Angry Birds theme song. And then something I've been working on as... Oh, wait, never mind. Here's the Super Mario Overworld beginning. Oh, yeah, I did do this one, didn't I? Hold on. Okay. And then something, as you probably saw at the start of the video, I've been doing Warriors by Imagine Dragons. It's taken much longer and got much complicated than I thought it would be. I also tried doing the... The Legend of Zelda, Zelda Secret Thing of a Bobby. Then it didn't work out too well, but hey, it was worth a try. So eventually I'll probably show off what I have and probably finish it. Okay. Oh. So remember how I talked about boats and ice? This is a racing game based on that function. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to go through the entire thing. And then I got bored one day, so I decided to see I'll experiment with this. Wait, what? Oh, here it is. And then over here we have Spleef. And then we have I forget what this game is called. Um. Duck Hunt. And then we have this tower thing from once again Stompy Long Nose. Oh, and this is a roller coaster by me. Let's see. This is mainly experimenting with the functions where the you can go through the carpet of it with a Minecraft or uh, Minecart. Yeah, Minecraft. That's pretty much it. And then over here, we got Connect Four, once again, by Stompy. Uh, where is... Oh, and this I decided to have bumper carts. Once again, using the ice and boat thing. Oh, and this is me experimenting with 
floating sand. I would destroy it now, but I would have to reset everything. I don't think that's... I think that's everything, maybe. Okay, besides my beacon color changer, that's it.